Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho is sitting right here next to me here with another cat food recall update. So this company announcement came from Midwestern Pet Foods. This is a manufacturing company, not a cat food brand. This is a manufacturing company. And the company made this announcement on March 26th. It was published on the FDA's website the next day, the 27th. And the reason for the announcement is the potential salmonella contamination. So again, the company name is Midwestern Pet Foods, but brand name is multiple brands. So first I'm gonna talk about salmonella and then talk about the importance of this right here, multiple brands. So we go to the FDA's website about salmonella and we go down to salmonellosis in dogs and cats. Salmonellosis is uncommon in dogs and cats, but they can be carriers of the bacteria. So it's rare and uncommon for dogs and cats to get sick from salmonella, but they are carriers for the bacteria. So they're going to shed it through their feces, which means we need to wash our hands after we take care of their business, which we should be doing anyway. Then on the CDC's page, pet food safety, they do not recommend raw feeding because of germs like salmonella and listeria, but salmonellosis is rare in cats and dogs. And then we go down to dry and canned pet food. Dry and canned pet food also can be contaminated with germs. So they advise against raw feeding because of germs, but then they say on the very same page that dry and canned pet food also has germs. So. Why do they advise against raw feeding but not advise against dry and canned feeding? Hmm. The problem with this recall is more so that it is affecting multiple brands, not so much salmonella. Don't get me wrong, obviously we need to source and handle our food properly to avoid bacterial contamination risks, but the issue here is more that it's multiple brands under one manufacturing company. Earlier this year, Midwestern Pet Foods had a recall for aflatoxin mold contamination. So this happened, the first recall happened in December 2020 and then it was expanded in January 2021. And if we go to the fast facts, as of January 2021, the FDA is aware of more than 110 pets that have died and more than 210 pets that are sick after eating certain pet foods manufactured by Midwestern Pet Food. So what products are involved? In December 2020, Midwestern Pet Foods manufacturing company recalled these products. So it's about six different products. And then in January, they expanded the recall to all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So 19 different products, one manufacturing company. So now we go back to the recall that just happened for Midwestern Pet Foods, and we see that there's multiple brands. Here's one. So Canine X, Earthborn Holistic, Venture, Unrefined, Sports Mix, Wholesomes, Pro Pack, Pro Pack Ultimates, Sports Trail, Sports Mix, and Meridian Brands. So the point that I want to make here is that one manufacturing company is responsible for 10 different brands of pet foods. So you think that you're buying like a family owned business, but at the end of the day, it's one manufacturing company that's responsible for so many different brands. And all of these brands have their own specific product lines too. So here's a list of all of the different products, the description. So this is the product name and the brand name and the expiration date and the lot number that you should be looking for on the bag itself and the bag size that's affected. So some of these products have multiple sizes of bags, like this one here, Earthborn Holistic Adult Advantage, has a four pound bag, 12 and a half pound bag, and a 25 pound bag. So it's multiple products, multiple brands, multiple dates and lot numbers, and multiple bag sizes. So let's take a look at the product list. So here's Earthborn Holistic, a bunch of different products just under that one brand. Still scrolling, still scrolling. Then we have one, two, three, four from Meridian. And then now we're on to Pro Pack. This is a lot of different brands. Sports Mix, a lot of different products, a lot of different brands, multiple sizes of bags. 
Sports Mix still scrolling, still scrolling. Now we have two from Sports Trail, a couple from Unrefined Lamb, a couple from Unrefined Rabbit, Salmon, then Venture, and Wholesome. And then we go down, there's the company's information, and the FDA also lists some pictures so that you know where to look on the bag. So you'll see the expiration date and the lot number on the bag. So here's a couple different pictures, Earthborn. So it says holistic food for adult dogs, Earthborn, holistic, pea-free, and you know has a nice nice picture of the earth to show you that it's natural and holistic but this is why it's important to learn how to read cat food labels this is exactly why i have an entire playlist dedicated to how to read cat food labels because you can't trust these pictures you can't trust these claims most of these things don't mean anything holistic food for dogs and puppies AFCO doesn't have any any type of de definition for holistic any pet food company can use this claim and then again, you see, here's the earth, earthborn, holistic, grain-free. Grain-free does not mean carb-free. And then we get to this one, roasted lamb. So it has a nice picture of some grains, whole fruits and vegetables. The brand name is Unrefined. And it's made under the earthborn holistics brand name, which is manufactured by Midwestern Pet Foods. You see what I mean here? It's like a long trail. Uh, trying to get to the top of the ladder, you know, instead of just one one product, one brand, it's multiple brands, multiple products, one manufacturing company. So now going to the salmonella bacteria risk. This is a risk with whatever you feed, kibble, wet food, raw food, doesn't matter. It all comes down to how you source and how you handle the food. CDC, the FDA, all of these organizations advise against raw feeding because of salmonella, but then we have kibble recalls like this that contain salmonella, and there's so many different products involved. So let's take a look at the difference between a raw pet food recall for salmonella and this kibble recall for salmonella. So this also happened this, this year. Bravo expanded a recall on their raw pet food products. So let's take a look at their company's description of what to look out for. So here are the pet food product names and the size. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine line items to look out for. Now we go back to the kibble recall for salmonella. Look at all these. Look at all of these. So many different brands, so many different products, so many different lot numbers. May, August, September, May, August, September, April, August, August, September. All of these different, different bag sizes. Look at that. That's insane. So if you want to feed your cat better, I highly recommend checking out my channel. Go to the homepage. Look at this. How to read cat food labels the right way. Raw cat food diet for beginners. Everything that you need to know about cat food and how to feed your cats all right here. Thanks for watching.